My shorts channel is now demonetized. I was making hundreds of dollars per short, but this content is no longer monetizable. I'm going to show you my new method to go viral that I have followed to get my channel back at 10 million views to be monetized once again. No views. Ever since being demonetized, I've seen many comments on my videos saying the same thing. I can't get any views. This isn't their fault as if you watch my older videos, I've given you the same method in every video. Join a popular niche, download clips, add graphics, graphics and you'll go viral. This method has generated me over 250 million views and $4,000 in revenue on my football channel. And in the past, I did open other channels using this method and I did see results very quickly. To see what everyone was speaking about in the comments, I did open a new channel last week and I got zero views. I researched for a reason for the sudden change and found no reason. I even asked the YouTube creator support but they always gave a response that didn't make sense. It is clear that the YouTube Shorts algorithm has changed because what was working only a few months ago is no longer working. To put it simply, the Shorts you upload now need to be high quality, otherwise you will get zero views. Even if you do get lucky and start getting views, you will not be accepted into the partner program because your content must have value at editing. This is what my channel was flagged for and my new method ensures that you will not see this message when you get to the partner program. I will tell you now it's gonna take more time to create content using this method, but you will see results. Any quick or AI method that will supposedly make you go viral doesn't work. If you don't believe me, go to any of these videos and find a part where they show you the results because they don't have any to show you. Now to the first step of this method, video topic. Spending time on creating a unique video topic is very important because no matter how popular your niche is or how great you edit your content, if your video topics aren't unique and interesting, you won't go viral. Coming up with unique Unique ideas is easy if you are a fan of your niche because you'll have a unique idea of what fans will find interesting. I know that for my niche, anything to do with Mbappe and Neymar's relationship does go viral, so we will work with that. If you are stuck, try combining viral video topics. This worked for me in the past where I found a short that had content from a Japanese game show that had Mbappe and Neymar. Just re-uploading the content wouldn't go viral because it had so many millions of views, so I combined it with a style from another viral short. This video topic where I showed football players competing did explode my channel and made me thousands of dollars. But this wouldn't have happened if I wasn't a fan of my niche and knew what was trending at the time. Value add editing. This is where we start to add value to our content to make it monetizable. Shorts where you add gameplay at the bottom of clips is not monetizable. And podcast clips with only subtitles are not monetizable. Value add editing is where you substantially change content to make it original. These are the shorts that I have been creating recently and they are monetizable as I edit the shorts with a high level of editing. If I show you the original clip, Neymar and Messi are juggling the ball together casually. But when I edit the short, I create a competition under a timer like they are competing when in fact they aren't. I won't lie to you, it is hard to find niches where you can substantially edit content to make it original like I have been. That is why I recommend you create shorts with scripts so you can be monetizable in any niche. This is how these new clip channels are being monetized with minimal editing. They are just adding a short script to give clips context and then showing any type of clip. So I'm going to show you the essentials to writing a script so you can monetize any niche. To start writing a script, you want a strong hook so as soon as the audience swipes onto your short, they are engaged. The context of your hook will depend on what your video topic is, but writing a question, statement, or joke that is exciting or questionable is the best way to do it. You need to keep your hooks concise and don't use long words. Once your hook is complete, trying to implement some type of story into your script is the best way to keep retention. If you want to write a story like I am, you will need some knowledge about your subject. Once your script is complete, add a call to action halfway through your script to get your viewers to engage further. In the past, I didn't believe in this, but after trying it, I have seen very high engagement. I won't reveal what this content is just yet, that's for a later video. I haven't posted any shorts on my football channel with scripts, but I have created Created two channels in the past with content that does require scripts. So go watch those videos if you want to see the results. Voiceover. If you are going to be using a script, use an AI voiceover because from experience it saves so much time. Using 11 Labs AI is the best way to go because it's free for the first 10,000 words and it's the best out there. 
edit. To create the content, I will be using CapCut, which is a free editing software that anyone can use. First, we will drag in the voiceover and you will notice that there are these gaps with no sound. Since we want to create a short with the highest retention, we want everything to be fast paced. So cut out these blank parts using the cutting tool. Once our timeline has our voiceover updated, we will drag in relevant clips from YouTube. Most of the clips I want to use are within larger videos, so I will cut them up just like the voiceover. Now, we want to adjust the ratio by selecting 16 by 9, and this is now the correct ratio for shorts. You will notice that your YouTube clips will be smaller now, so we'll have to increase the scale. Just like the old method, we still want to be doing frequent edits every few seconds to keep the audience engaged. And if you're using a voiceover, we will start with subtitles. So come up here to text, click auto caption, and then press create. Click animation, and then press bounce out. We don't want boring text, so we'll make some changes to the text. Now, the other edits that we want to include are graphics and sound effects. CapCut has a wide library of both that you can use and all you do is just come up here to stickers and drag them into your timeline. And that's the basics you need to know how to edit. You just need to repeat it for the entire short. Always add a soundtrack to the background of your shorts and you can use any copyrighted song on shorts. If you don't believe me, we can look at my YouTube studio and you can see copyright protected content doesn't affect shorts. I have worked with CapCut to bring you this segment so there's a link in the description for you to download CapCut. Go viral. Except, you probably won't get more than 10,000 views on your first short. All of the channels I've started in the past, I have never gone viral within the first five shorts. You will need to repeat this process multiple times until YouTube finds your audience. And the same advice even applies to me with just under 500,000 subscribers. My audience so far has only been engaging with funny football moments with no voiceovers. So I can't expect a high amount of views on any short that I upload with voiceovers unless I continue to upload this content multiple times. I will update you on the progress in a future video, but if you want to see the results in real time, go watch the channel. If you are concerned that you are creating content that is not monetizable, comment your channel name below or any questions and I will give you some advice. I reply to every comment so it won't be a waste of your time. My next video is going to be about how much money I made on YouTube this year. This video will not be me flexing, it's going to give you motivation to start your own channel.